looking for fast, cheap, and reliable coins, look no further than my sponsor, MuttReserve.com. Head on over to MuttReserve.com. They're awesome to work with. They got super cheap, fast, and reliable coins. Make sure you use code Poodle at checkout for an additional 15% off your order. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, we got the early Zero Chill Master reveal, as well as the 50 reveal for tomorrow. And apparently, they're both supposed to be really big, so I'm going to be revealing both of them here. So, the Zero Chill was the first one revealed. I'm going to go over that Master in just a second. But before we do, guys, for every day of Poodle Miss, of course, we will be giving away 30k now. I forgot to mention you guys need to comment down below your consoles as well because obviously I only have coins on the Xbox. So let me know down below your consoles when you do say your Christmas related thing or you enter below. I get you to enter like the video and comment down some Christmas related or food miss. Now for yesterday's shout out goes to Cool Cat. If you have PS5, let me know down below or PS4. If you do, I'm going to end up re-rolling it. Sorry for that, but this just isn't the time right now. I don't have another coin supply on the other system or anything like that that have been locked away. But moving on from that anyways, uh, make sure to get involved in that. But moving on, if you guys are new to the channel, subscribe. If you guys need any coins for Zero Chill, of course, heading over to Mutt Reserve. Discounts are still going crazy, 30% off using code Poodle. At checkout, Mutt Reserve is still going. Take advantage of the good holiday sales. But yeah, let's get into this. Let's go check out the Masters so far. We're gonna, this is a Zero Chill Masters, so we have another part of Zero Chill coming tomorrow. I'm not sure if that includes Ghost yet. It could be Ghost tomorrow. Ghost could be delayed. Uh, not delayed, but pushed to next week. Because remember, it's only the 17th. They may not give away the whole promo just yet, although they very well could. I'm not entirely sure because as you see by this chart here is how we've been doing it. We got zero chill first, then out of position, then we got Ghost of Madden's coming next. But it could, it could, may, it may not be Ghost of Madden. It could just be more zero chill stuff because they do do that uh, there sporadically. Like what they'll do is they have an out of position player now, and then what they'll do is they will push the next out of position players or more to like the next drop and get more zero chill. And they kind of just keep expanding on current aspect of the promo. But as of now, we have another zero chill master. So there you go. We're already getting another expansion on zero chill itself. Ghost of Madden's will be cool, but they may save some of those specifically because I think some of the presents are going to be Ghost of Madden players, so they may wait, they may not, it really just depends, but let's get into the first player, let's go check him out, he looks pretty solid of course, but let's go check out the stats. Zero Chill Mask, we have a defensive player, we have Bobby Wagner now, typically Bobby Wagner cards aren't usually the best as of late because in the last two Maddens we've really moved away from line of linebacker, despite you know how prominent of a role they played in our Madden lives since like Madden 13. Just because of the ability to use safeties there, which are way more effective. Also, this year, if you guys haven't realized, like, middle linebackers have been kind of glitched. They really don't animate on interceptions anymore. In older matches, you see like 360 picks. They used to be the best users. But this year, middle linebackers, like, you can put a safety in middle linebacker with like the same jumping or whatever, same attributes, and, like the same spot. For some reason, the safeties just animate. Now, again, it could be attributed to like higher zone coverages, maybe, but they literally just don't jump. They don't, they don't lurk. It's just not the same. But Bobby Wagner is a great run stuffer. He actually has some decent speed on this card. This card will be 96 overall. He will get to an 89 speed as well as a 92 block shed. 95 hit power and above 90 zone. So this card's actually really, really good. If you're, if you're a guy that's not a great user to begin with, like that's not your thing. You just want to fill players in spots that have good overalls with good stats you think will help you win. Bobby Wagner's going to be that kind of guy. He has a 92 block shed powered up, which is going to stop the run great hit power he has 89 speed which is good enough to keep up with some you know to keep up his spot right he's not going to be if you run a stretch he should be able to fill over the top if you run a dive he should be able to get into the gap you know like he's not like ridiculously slow obviously some safeties will have 92 speed in the box but they're not going to have the block shed the hit power the strength the play wreck and a few other things the tackling that bobby wagner will have now that's the thing with safeties right people think that just putting three four safeties there are better and if you're good at running meta defense you know how to handle it it is but for a guy who's not really good oriented at like setting things up and making a meta defense, you're probably better off having a Bobby Wagner who can just play his game and do his job in the middle of the field. But moving on, he has 88 speed, 90 excel, 81 strength, 94 tackle, 95 play rec, 91 block shit, 94 hit power, 88 zone coverage. Now, like I said, you can get the zone up to like a 93, 94 ish. So either way, he's going to be really good at zone. He is like six foot three, I believe. Could be wrong. He has 95 hit power. This is a really good card overall. So far, the masters have been good. Charles Woodson's meta. Bobby Wagner is not going to be meta, but he's going to be good. And then Derrick Henry, I'm not sure if he's meta exactly because of the speed, which is a 93. But of course, he's borderline meta, right? Like, not, he's not like far and away the best, but because of the change of direction, too. He has good speed, but the change of direction keeps him down. Had he gotten like a 94 speed, it'd be different. I think he'll play similar to how Bo Jackson kind of played for the most part. But Bobby Wagner looks good. He looks like a better card than they usually drop because Bobby Wagner cards usually get like 86 speeds and stuff like that. The 89 speed is going to be way different way more usable way better to start off with and of course you get the strength the hit power and everything else and of course he has some decent height he is a field general as well so he'll get some decent abilities 
Not that I think you're going to put abilities on your middle linebacker or even use one, but if you do end up using one, Bobby Wagner does have potential to start for you. But let's go check out the 50 player now, of course, and see what they drop there because a lot of people are hoping for Randy Moss. Let's go see what they end up dropping there. The 50 reveal, we have Sean Taylor, free safety for the Washington team. I almost called them the other name. But we kind of expected to get them, uh, him and or Randy Moss. Now, there's still, you know, of course, there's still more. So that doesn't mean that we're done with the 50. This is the early reveal now. Guys, the cards are getting right now. It's pretty crazy. Just like the cards are getting daily overall wise and stat wise. They're really going a lot around this time right now. Sean Taylor, I know the picture looks a little small, but you can still make out the stats. He looks good. He can get powered up to a 96 overall, 93 speed, 93 excel, 89 tackle, 92 play rec, 94 pursuit, 83 man, 93 zone, and 95 hit power. So powered up and chemed up. He's going to have a 94 speed, which means 94 speed, 94 excel will put him right there for one of the fastest secondary guys in the game. Of course, that's huge, especially when you have his height with his hit power. He'll have a 90 tackle threshold. That's great. He'll end up getting to a 98 play rec, 95 pursuit. He will get up to an 89 man, which just falls short of the man threshold, but that's fine. He will get a 99 zone coverage, which is everything you want in a free safety. And 96 hit power. Sean Taylor will effectively be the best secondary guy probably in the game, or at least a safety. He can play anywhere on the field, of course. He can play all he can, he can zone up. 99 zone is huge because that's the thing with Sean Taylor. You're getting the speed, the zone, the hit power, and the height. I know he's pretty tall as well. And he can be powered up. So getting up to 96 overall, Sean Taylor is going to be a meta card for sure. You definitely need him on your team. And he always gets glitchy picks because he has a high jump and high height. He always can get like those glitchy like post beater picks where you think you have him burn. He still picks it off. Always great to see a Sean Taylor in the game. Now, we still have more com uh, coming, of course. I do expect a Randy Moss. I feel like we always get a Randy around Christmas, whether it's a Ghost of Pass, whether it's an LTD, whether it's a, uh, just a regular Christmas LTD. We always get him around this time. We haven't got a Randy yet this year, so I do think this is the time to drop him. Or even a... Uh, you know, we got the Calvin, but the Calvin is just not the same as Randy. Randy's going to have all the things uh, Calvin has, but the speed on top of it. And probably better route running and catching as well. And this Randy Moss card is going to be way better just because of the time it's being dropped, higher overalls and whatnot. But Sean Taylor is going to be meta. He's going to be expensive tomorrow, of course, though. But 50 cards have been getting cheaper and cheaper weekly. Like, they go down really fast. So I don't think he'll hold value for too long. So regardless, we'll be fine with Sean Taylor for a decent amount of time. But yeah, it's about it for the video. I pretty much covered new players. I really do like Deshaun Taylor. I know he's going to be a hot pickup tomorrow and probably super, super expensive. Initially, like I said, the price will come down pretty fast, as is as does with most 50 players. But he's looking great. If Sean Taylor is the earlier reveal, I wonder what else we could be getting tomorrow. If it's Randy, too, it's going to be probably the best 50 drop of the year so far. But yeah, if you guys need coins, head over to my reserve. Pick up the coins for tomorrow. So you can pick up Sean Taylor. You can pick up some of the new Zero Chill players as well. Maybe the new Bobby Wagner if you feel inclined to pick up a middle linebacker. But yeah, that's about it. Use code Poodle. Enjoy the 30% off for the holiday discounts. Enjoy the rest of your day. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the Wagner and the Sean Taylor reveal. I'm not sure if I'll be picking up Wagner, but Sean Taylor for sure is a pickup. I was just upgrading some players on my team. I picked up Woodson. I picked up the Tyree Kill finally. I'm trying to get everything ready to go. Just start getting into that next-gen gameplay a little bit more. But yeah, that's about it. Enjoy the rest of your day. I'm out.